Ms. Ligalisa here. Welcome to the video. Now, I've been talking a lot about Dominique's side, her company Seam, which was the surrogate escrow account management company that she was running down in Texas. And she sent her, I guess, clients an email stating that she was having some issues with the operation and she was not going to be sending any money back out to the surrogates. In any case, there have been a number of lawsuits that have been filed, not just from the parents who had sent her money, but also some of the lenders have now filed lawsuits against her. Well, in this video, we're not even going to be talking about either of those. We are going to be talking about the FBI. Well, it looks like the FBI has opened its own investigation. And on top of that, They've set up a form where people who might have information can fill out the form and let the FBI know, hey, I might have some information here that might be valuable in this case. Let me pull up this form so we can take a look at it. I didn't know that the FBI had forms like this online. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. All right. First thing I always like to point out to people because Again, a lot of scams are out there. If you take a look at the very top of the website, up here where it says an official website of the United States government, here's how you know, okay? Always look for that whenever you think you're on a federal agency website. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this. FBI has got their website here. It says Seeking Victim Information in SEAM Investigation. All right, the FBI's Houston division is seeking to identify potential victims, first of all, potential victims of a SEAM. If you believe you were victimized by SEAM or have information relevant to this investigation, please fill out this short form. If you know of someone else who has possibly been victimized by SEAM, please encourage them to complete the form themselves. Now, just backtrack here for a second, because I recently did a video that talked about how SEAM got its clients. There's a company out there that works with putting together intended parents and surrogates. And one of the things that they require is that they use an escrow company. Well, they actually maintain a referral list that they then give to these intended parents and surrogates so that they can find an escrow agent to handle the money, the financial transactions related to this relationship. Well, Seam was one of the companies listed on that referral list. So that's how all of these clients, most of them, came to find out about Seam, came to enter into an agreement with Seam, and for some of them came to find out that, yeah, maybe some of their money got transferred and diverted to other parties and not the surrogates. All right, let's look at the second part here. And then we're going to take a look at the actual form. The FBI is legally mandated to identify victims of federal crimes it investigates. Victims may be eligible for certain services, restitution, and rights under federal and or state law. Your responses are voluntary, but may be useful in the federal investigation and to identify you as a potential victim. Because yes, sometimes they have restitution, they have money, and it's like, okay, victims, where are you so we can give you back some of this money that belongs to you? Based on the responses provided, you may be contacted by the FBI and asked to provide additional information. All identities of victims will be kept confidential. Well, you see how long that part will really last if you file a lawsuit or something like that. Okay. First name, middle name, last name. They want to know your birthday. They want to know your phone number, email address, address. Okay. Questionnaire. Okay. So after you've provided this identifying information questionnaire. Here's what the FBI is looking for. Did you wire money to surrogacy escrow account management doing business as SEAM LLC? Yes or no. What was the total amount you wired to SEAM? You know, these amounts have been all over the place. I've seen as little as 30 to 40,000. I've seen as much as $100,000 that SEAM took in from a couple. Please provide your account numbers. Are you owed money from SEAM? 
Now, there was a video that I did recently. A couple had provided seam with about $70,000. And they said, based on where the surrogate was in the pregnancy, and based on what had been paid out so far, there should have been around 50000 still left in their account. Is that the case? I don't think they have any clue. I don't think they know if that money's there or not because operations are on hold. That's what the email said that Dominique Side sent out to her clients. These operations were on hold. And there's been some trouble in actually finding her and having conversations with her. So are you owed money from scene? Probably. Do you know how much? Probably not. Which is the next question? How much money are you owed? Some people may know, some people may not. I think it is really going to take some sort of financial analyst, investigator, someone who is going to run through those numbers to look and see what actually got paid out to surrogates and what did not. Because I think part of what was going on was also surrogates had, well, the intended parents in some cases had been told that surrogates had been paid. And when they contacted the surrogates, the surrogates were like, no, I didn't receive that last payment. No, 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 no. So there is some concern about what these numbers look like. People don't even really know how much money they're owed. That's what it sounds like. Have you received notice that funds were unable to be delivered? Now that's a new one. I hadn't really heard a lot about that particular question yet. But again, you've got these parents who had these surrogates who are having their babies and where's the money? <laughs> What's going on? Did you sign an agreement with SEAM? I think in most cases, it looks like they did have agreements in place and that they did require people to sign them. So it looks like at one point in time, there may have been a very professional uh, process in place and that somewhere along the line, things just went haywire. All right. How did you hear about SEAM? Again, in one of the lawsuits, the plaintiff states that this company called Shared Conceptions, I think was the name of it, maintained a referral list and Seam was included on that referral list. Because otherwise you're out there on Google doing a Google search and you have no idea if you're going to find somebody who's legitimate or not. All right, let's see, provide any, please provide any additional information. So then you've got a block there where you can fill any of that out. Then you've got the Privacy Act information, the CAPTCHA and submit. So it's a pretty short form. This first part really is just getting your contact information. The second part, the questionnaire is where it really breaks down into, hey, how much money did you give SEAM? How much money do you think they paid out how much of your money do you think you're owed and that they still have? So this is going to be a very interesting case going forward, only because it's not like your traditional breach of contract case or a scam case or a fraud case or anything like that, where somebody takes the money and runs off with it and doesn't give you your service. You actually have babies that are going to be born and there's this expectation that the surrogates are going to be paid for their medical care. And this money is like, we don't even know where the money is. Money has been transferred to other parties. Money has been used to purchase property. Money has been used to purchase equipment. It sounds like money has been used maybe to finance the music career and a clothing line of the business owner, Dominique Side. So we're going to see where this all goes. We'll find out whether or not at some point in time, what the FBI's investigation looks like. In the meantime, we'll still try to follow some of these complaints to get a good grasp on what went on in this case. It sounds like the pieces are coming together, but here at the end, we still don't know what's going on with Dominique. Still haven't heard anything from her. She was not at the last hearing where the accounts were frozen. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But this is just really hard, I'm sure, on these families that are out here that were thinking that they were going to enter into this agreement, pay this money, have the money go to the surrogate, and then at some point in time, have it all wrapped up and then have a bouncing baby to take home. Well, we'll see how that goes. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on this case and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.
and don't forget to check out some of the other videos that I have available on my YouTube channel. Thanks.